Hi everyone, welcome to the episode of The Root Coffee. So in today's episode, we're going to show you a section of our grow area. And so here we have the Hoya Imperialis, and we have two kinds, the Red and the Alba. So we give them a good area to do a little bit of trailing. And so at the back here, we have the Petrae Black. And over here, we have the Philodendron Painted Lady. Over here. Here we have the Konu Camphira, uh, Jungle Silver. We have here is the Philodendron Berlin Marks. And give them a good grow area, a good sunlight, and some trellis on, and they start to do uh, very well. They can be a bit weedy at times. And if you notice our grow area, we mainly have concumas and camiphorias, and they make excellent foliage. And one of the good things is that they do produce uh, very beautiful blooms. So some of these uh, are cross hybrids that we have collected, while others are your average kind, like this turmeric right here. And over here, we have two kinds. Uh, one is the Cambiphoria pavifora. So then is the um, Thai ginseng or the black ginger. We also have another black ginger. That sometimes people do get confused, which is the black turmeric. For this concuma, it is the rhizome that is slightly bluish compared to this where the rhizome is slightly smaller um, and they are actually two different genus. So if we move up here, we... We do see a bit of a Hoya growth here. And if you notice in the background, you notice that there is a praying mantis in the back, a friend of the garden. So, as you mentioned, that if it's possible to have a conditional environment, sometimes you do have uh, insects coming in and starting to multiply. And so it's good to have a friend of the garden that helps take care of the Whatever pests that you may have in the garden. Uh, so over here, we do have the Thalysium section, where we grow mainly the radii cultivars. So, for example, the paradise swirl, the cloud. This is our personal favorite. One thing we really love of that, the protofronts are very majestic. They are very big. Sometimes you do notice that we do have a little bit of uh, insect bites here and there because we don't want to spray pesticide. So some of these gingers that we do have are edible gingers that we do uh, use compost or we try to use the very natural methods to treat them. Over here we have the philodendron white wizard and the philodendron mecans. So given the opportunity to climb, the leaves do get bigger. And here we have one ginger that it's a very nice ginger because it actually smells like a lemongrass. So if you rub the leaves together, um, it has this really beautiful lemongrass flavor. And if you take a closer look, we can see the beautiful flowers that it produces. So a little insight into our grow area.